Hello everybody, this is Straying Emma Yurt to kick off our Summer Champions Tournament. So yes, we are beginning with Trial 1. And how this will work, this will be, Trial 1 will be split up into three videos. So this will be part one. And it will include 11 matchups of the first 11 guys that enter. So we're going to go from Dino Fans down to Shy Guy in this session. And then we'll go from Xeno to Car... Well, you, you get the gist. And then there'll be, part three will be slightly longer because there'll be... 12 matches in that one instead of 11 because it's 34 of you entered so yeah look at your team interesting teams we got here interesting team but yeah let's go on with the first trial shall we and up first is dino fan so let's see who dino fans his opponent will be so yeah as i stated his opponent his opponent will be randomly selected by this random wheel right let's see who dino fans will be facing Ooh. Ooh, we're going to see Alpha Chasmosaurus. Interesting. Okie dokie, representing Dino fans for the first trial, we have Delta Dromius. This Delta Dromius will be looking to give Dino fans a quick start in the trials. Remember, you need at least seven points and to have completed one of the trials successfully to qualify for the last 16 bracket. Boop. Right, standing in Delta Dromius' way, we got Alpha Chasmosaurus, the Lightning Assault Champion. That counter blitz is going to be a problem. Along with that happy pudding, if Chasmosaurus' HP gets low enough, gets off a crit, that could turn the tables in this trial. Remember, you get 5 points if you complete this trial, 2 points if you fail but your opponent's HP is below half, and 0 if you straight up fail. Ooh, it's a tie. This Delta Dromia does like ties, though. It does have the Sonic Blast. It does have the tie attack. Ooh, a crit from the Delta. This is just the start. Da Dirty da Dino fans wants a Death Grind coming in. Oh, wow. Look at that. But. The counter blitz has been triggered. But Dino fans has secured at least two points from this trial. Okay, well, counter blitz gotta happen first, so unfortunately Dino fans will have to wait. Oh, but he poisoned it as well. Interesting. A happy pudding here could really turn the tides in this trial. A good start from Dino fans. Ooh, that's a tie, and that will do it. So Dino fans will complete the first trial successfully, and that's five points. Well done, the Dino fans. Giving you guys a good start. But let's see how the rest of you will fit. Okie dokie, up next we have Asta coming in with an Anata Titan. And Asta's opponent shall be... Do, do, do. Ooh, ooh, that's good. Oh, very promising if you're Asta. Going up against Armatus. Right then. Representing Asta for the first trial, we have got an Anata Titan. This Anata Titan will have type advantage over the Armatus, and it has all grass moves. Of course, it'll only have type advantage when Rock Roller is triggered, so there is that you have to bear into account. But yeah. Asta has a good chance here of completing this trial. Right, standing in and out of Titan's way is the Earthshaker Champion Armatus. Although, it's going to be a tough ass for Armatus here to deny Asta the five points. Ooh, that's a tie. Ooh, that's a crit. A dream start for Asta. Getting the 2 platoon crush off right away. And this might actually be enough to guarantee at least the two points. But Asta will want more. Oh, oh, wow. Wow, that did more damage than I thought it would. <laughs> Ooh, Armatus does strike back though. Asta not getting this one yet, but they do get the two points. 
Ooh, Armatus not going down without a fight. Getting a triple headbutt on the board. Be a throw away if Aster doesn't get the five points here. All the Nata Titan needs is a hit. And it'll be job done. But getting that hit is proving difficult. And in fact, Armatus with that poison will have taken the lead. Well, this is getting interested. I guess it all comes down to this. Oh, Aster doesn't get the points. Armatus showing us all why he is the Earthshaker's champion. Defeating all adversities in his path. And unfortunately for Aster, this is going to be a fail. But they will get a losing bonus point. Well, they will get two points out of this trial. So they're not coming away empty-handed, but yeah. When you have type advantage in this trial, you really need to win. And unfortunately, Asta didn't. Up next, we have a tournament veteran, Ultimate Dino King. Let's see who Ultimate Dino King will face. It's going to be Satiosaurus taking on Mapusaurus. Nope, it's going to be Spino. We're going to see Satiosaurus going up against Spinosaurus. Ooh. Okie dokie. Ooh. Things could get heated up on this field. Representing Ultimate Dino King for the first trial, we have Satiosaurus. An interesting choice here. We'll see how, we'll see if it pays off. We could be in for a quick matchup here because both of these dinos are more focused on attack than resilience. Right. Standing in Satiosaurus' way, we have the water washout champion, Spinosaurus. This bruiser was quite the powerhouse in the water washout tournament. Washing away all its competition. And I'm sure it'll be eager to wash away Satiosaurus. Oop, that's a tie. Hmm, this Spino is tie type, I might add, so ties will probably favour the Spinosaurus more. Oh, that's a crit. That's not good for ultimate. That's a water sword. Big damage coming, Satiosaurus. Oh, jeez, that was a lot of damage. <laughs> oh, God, come on. Can Satiosaurus at least get a hit? Oh, it does get a hit. That's, ooh, softening beam. Why does it always, always cause this lag softening beam for some reason? Not sure why, but Spinosaurus's pattern has been analysed in his genetic makeup. Ooh, that might be bang on half. I think it's just over, though. Ooh, forget half health. Satiosaurus wants the win. And so does Ultimate. Will this Futawa Cannon do it? Boosh. Oh, he does it. Ultimate Dino King gets the job done. Five points on the board. All thanks to Satiosaurus. And well done to Ultimate Dino King. Up next, we have Dexin Winters using a Piatnitsky Saurus, the poisonous pest. Right, let's see. It's going to be Piatnitsky Saurus taking on. Okay, oh, it's going to be Spino again. So we're going to see Spinosaurus again. Then, representing Dexin Winters, we have the Piatnitsky Saurus, the poisonous predator. We've all win moves, so thank goodness for his sake, he's not facing Matusaurus. And returning from his fresh battering against the Satiosaurus is Spinosaurus. Oh, we can skip that since we've already seen this guy. <laughs> can can Dexin Winters follow Ultimate's footsteps and defeat the Spino, or will Spinosaurus get some redemption? Well, with a start like that, I think the Spino's going to be facing two straight defeats. Wow, you guys are doing well so far. Decent damage done there. I don't think that's below half yet, so the two points have not been secured as of yet. Well, they won't be now after this light recovery. The Net Crusher coming in as well. Spinosaurus striking back. And we are pretty much level pecking. Oh, 
Oh, he went for the crit again, but the Spinal's having none of it. It's a water sword. Is that going to be curtains for Pianitsky-saurus? Oh, but he is! Freaking killed it instantly! Spinosaurus getting some redemption here, but unfortunately for Dex and Winters, that is a fail. Okay, up next we have Dino Smash coming in with Mapusaurus. Do, 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 do. Oh, 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 I think it's going to be our, yep, yeah, it's going to be Armatus. So it's Mapusaurus taking on Armatus. Okay, representing Dino Smash in this first trial, we have Mapusaurus. Interestingly enough, it doesn't have any super moves. So that 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 could be that could have been tactical there in case he had a bad matchup against the Spino. Obviously he hasn't, he's gonna face our Armatus. But yeah, interesting tactics by Dino Smash. Will it pay off in this trial though? Armatus is a tough customer, as Asta found out not too long ago. <laughs> Ooh, but Mapusaurus getting that te attack tech boost going there. Getting a first hit on the board could will definitely come in handy. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, but Armatus does strike back. Galley Rush coming. Rock Roller will be triggered after this, and a triple headbutt to come. Smash the kneecaps! Well, the ankles, really. Look at them, Mapusaurus could literally step on them. Yeah. Not too much damage dealt, though. Nerfing that technique as well, which is good against this Mapusaurus, because it does rely on technique boost to do well. Good counter there from Armatus. Oh, the rock roller with the galley rush as well. Not looking good for Dino Smash. I think this might be lethal. If the rock roller doesn't finish it up, doesn't defeat the Mapusaurus, the galley will. Oh, that's not good. Oh, okay. Oh, the poison as well, but that does, that's irrelevant at this point. Maybe Mapusaurus will survive. Oh, it does! Dino Smash still in it. But is not looking good at all. He needs this next hit. Has to get the next hit. Oh, and does. Does get the next hit. How crucial could that be? Takes the Armatus' HP below half as well. Which guarantees that they'll at least get two points from this trial. But, well, it all comes down to this, doesn't it? Can Dino Smash get this done? Oh, he can't! Armatus gets the next hit. Unfortunately for Dino Smash. Wow, more poison and another galley rush. Unfortunately for Dino Smash, it is going to be a fail for this trial. But they did salvage two points from it. So they're not walking away empty-handed. But it does put the pressure on them now to succeed in trials two and three. Coming up next, we have MEJP Tekken coming in with an Alpha Allosaurus. Round and round it goes. Where it stops, we'll all soon know. Ooh, is it going to be Makusaurus? Nope, I think it's going to be Sejuangosaurus. Ooh. Right, representing MEJP Tekken for this first trial, we have got Alpha Allosaurus. Not much to say about this guy, to be honest. Pretty standard move set, nothing special. But it will be looking to succeed in this trial. Going up against the Sejuangosaurus, the champion of the Wicked Wind Tournament, the Purple Predator. Well, Sejuangosaurus, in his journey to become the Wicked Wind Champion, did defeat some pretty tough wind dinosaurs. I think it beat Mega after it beat Rugops. It beat it just beat like so many strong wind dinosaurs to, to win the Wicked Wind Tournament. It was a huge upset. Big shock, probably the shock result of any of my mini tournaments was Sejuangosaurus winning the win tournament. So do not underestimate this little pest. It can spring a surprise. Well, with a start like that, it probably won't be springing any surprises in this match. A ninja attack, a good start from MEJ E10 there. 
Dino Illusion does get triggered though, so it will make things a little bit tricky. One. Two. Says he does get a little NQ on the board. Gets the, gets their first hit of the match. Although, that won't take his health above half, so Energy East 10 still has those two points should they lose this match. Should they fail this trial. Okay, there goes the Dino Illusion. Ooh, that's a tie. Oh, Neck Crusher, is this going to be fatal? I think it's going to be. Yep, and down goes the Sejuangasaurus, and MEJP10 completes the first trial successfully. But yeah, if you get Sejuangasaurus, you have a pretty good chance of winning, of completing this trial. <laughs> Up next, we have got Arctic Warriors using a Mega Raptor. Do 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 do. Who will Mega Raptor's opponent be? Oh, is it going to be Mapusaurus? It is. It's going to be Mapusaurus. That's not good for Arctic Warriors. Okie dokie. For Arctic Warriors, for this first trial, we have Mega Raptor. This is going to be a tough ass for Arctic Warriors. You're going up against the Fire Tournament champ in Mapusaurus. Given that Mega Raptor has all wind moves as well. Although it does have the uh, Hurricane Beat and the Mayfly, which don't get triggered right away, so that could be a saving grace if Arctic Warriors can get an early crit on the board. Maybe they can do this. But Mapusaurus is certainly no pushover. One of the apexes of the fire dinosaurs. A true powerhouse. A dinosaur accustomed to winning, it seems. It won my fire tournament. It won the, the Trial of the Apexes video for Jurassic World Evolution 2 is a very strong dinosaur. And that is a very strong start for the map. A stun dash coming in. Boosh! The Mega Raptor's gonna get slapped about now like a rag doll. The technique boost will increase the likelihood of that heat eruption activating as well. A good start from Makusaurus. Ooh, it's a tie. No heat eruption, though. But this is not good for Arctic Warriors. Needs to get a hit on the board. It's a crit. And it's a fire crit. So Mega Raptor's probably going down. Okay, okay. <laughs> Overestimating Mapusaurus here. But Mapusaurus completely on top. Oop, hello. Mega Raptor got some fight left in it. Coming in with a biting win. But this won't do much damage to Map. Arctic Warrior really needs to get a big hit here. A big hit here to at least secure, get two points. Oh, they're not even going to get that. Mapusaur has proven too strong for the Mega Raptor. And it will be a big fat L for Arctic Warriors in this trial. Okie dokie. Up next, we have Navan23. And for those of you that don't know, this is Dragon Destroyer, who finished second in my last tournament. And because of that, they do have a three-point head start in this tournament. So all they need to do is pass this trial, and they will qualify for the last 16 round. And representing them will be Allosaurus, so let's see who Allosaurus will face. I'm sure that they won't want to face Matusaurus, given that frighteningly impressive display against Arctic Warriors. And it won't be Matusaurus, it will be Spinosaurus? Yes, it will. It will be Spinosaurus. Ooh, we're on the beach. Right. For, ni for Nivram, we have Allosaurus. I'm sorry if I call you Dragon Destroyer accidentally, okay? <laughs> well, this Allosaurus is very attack-minded. This could be a quick match, this could be. Allosaurus is very... This is a very attacking-minded moveset that Nivram is using. Likewise with this Spinosaurus as well. Oh, we can skip that, because we've seen this a few times. I think Spinosaurus has popped up the most so far. Will it defeat Allosaurus? Or can Navram pass this trial? 
And yeah, if you see flashes of moves coming up, it's because this Allosaurus is warning type. Tail Smash coming in here. Good start. Getting an early hit on the board is always good. Oh, it's a ninja attack! And that, I think, means that the warning type effect is applied. So I think this is going to be Curtain. And, the, and Nivan wasting no time whatsoever in this trial. Oh, okay, no, it didn't kill it, but it did a serious amount of damage. A tie or anything now will finish the job. Ooh, not anymore. Spinosaurus getting a crucial light recovery there. Which means a tie will not be enough for Navran to get the win. However, that Tail Smash will be enough. And it is Navan successfully passing the trial. And because they have, they will qualify for the last 16 round. Because they will be on 8 points. So well done to Navan, being the first combatant to qualify. Granted they had a head start, but still, impressive nonetheless. Coming up next, we have Carnotaurus Man. Coming in with a Patagosaurus. Ooh, are we going to see Armatus again? I think, is it going to be Armatus? Oh, it's not. It's going to be a para. Right the ho then. For Carnotaurus Man, we have Patagosaurus. Could be in for an intriguing contest here. That Hydro Cutter will, could definitely come in handy. Ocean Panic could be key here though. Because this para is a built on resilience. And Resilience is what enabled it to win the Gracious Grass Tournament. So if it gets off some defense bursts, Dying Carnotaurus Man could be in a bit of a pickle. Ooh, good start though, getting an early hit there, Carnotaurus Man. But yeah, look at that. Peanuts amount of damage. Needs to get a crit, really. But it is getting hits, and that's crucial. Ooh, as a tie, are we going to see Ocean Panic? Nope. Another tie. And in fact, that does take the Paris HP below half, so Carnotaurus Man has guaranteed himself at least two points. So this is actually pretty impressive. Ooh, but a crit and a light recovery. That's not good. Will the light recovery take Parasaurolophus' HP above half? No, it won't. So the two points are secure. But, oh, here comes Ocean Panic. Will that get the job done for Carnotaurus, man? If the shockwave effect applies, then yes, it will. Splash. Okay, no, a tie won't be enough, but it does put Carnotaurus Man in a very good position. Right, so as per the shockwave rules, Carnotaurus Man will be going for scissors. Can't go rock. And that will do it. The Ocean Panic does indeed come in handy in defeating the Parasaurolophus and getting the job done for Carnotaurus Man. So well done to Pachasaurus here, and well done to Carnotaurus Man. Our 10th combatant taking part in the first trial. We have Kai coming in with a Pentaceratops. But first, we got to find out who his opponent will be. Ooh, is it going to be Matusaurus? I think it's going to be Matusaurus. Could be an... Ooh, that could be a tough one. Tough one there for Kai. Right. For Kai, representing Kai for this first trial, we have got Pentaceratops. Pentaceratops, quite the popular dinosaur in my tournaments, does see a lot of play. But it's going to be tough against the powerhouse that is Mapusaurus. The fire tournament champion, this Mapusaurus, starting to become a serial winner, to be honest. Keeps winning. Whether it's in this, whether it's in Dinosaur King or in Evolution 2, it seems to win. Although it hasn't won a Battle Royale yet in Evolution 2, but maybe it will. 
Well, that is a dream start for Macrosaurus and a nightmare start for Kai. A crit, an early crit, an early tech boost as well, which synergizes well with that eat eruption. Well, from a dream, from a nightmare start to a dream response, it's a crit from the Penty and a lightning spear. Decent damage, and actually, this lightning axe will guarantee Kai at least two points from this trial. Oh, bloody hell! Almost killed it! Better pull it together, Matusaurus, again, your butt kicked. And he does pull it together with another crit. Tech boost will max up as well. Ooh, this could be. This is a tight one. A hit from Matusaurus will probably be lethal for Pentaceratops, but Pentaceratops gets the hit. And Kai will get. will secure the win. Oh, it's a tie! Oof, no heat eruption though. That's a huge relief for Kai. A heat eruption might have ended it. But this hit will end it. Win it for Kai. Kai gets the job done. Well done to Pentaceratops and to Kai. And that's five points on the board. Wow, you guys are actually doing really well in these trials so far. Our very last competitor to take part in the first trial in this session. We have Shy Guy coming in with a Yangchungosaurus. A Yangchungosaurus with Death Fire. With that Death Fire, I don't think he'll fear anybody. Even the Spino. Oh, only just it's got the Spinosaurus. Oh my god, only just got Spinosaurus there. Right, our final combatant to take part in this trial. Well, for this session anyway, we have Shy Guy with the Yangchungosaurus. It's gonna have not a good matchup here. Although the Death Fire could make a difference. That's probably the only thing that really gives Shy Guy a chance of actually passing this trial. Because he's up against the Water Washout Champ, the Spinosaurus. And this Spinosaurus is it is is a brute. It is a brute. <laughs> Whether it's in this game or in Evolution 2, it is a force. Ooh, Yangchungosaurus does get the first hit. It does have Volcano Burst and Heat Eruption, so there are stipulations here which that Shy Guy can take advantage of here. But yeah, looking at the matchup, it doesn't look good. That's a tie. Here comes the Heat Eruption. This is a promising start from Shy Guy so far. Spinosaurus can't really get going. And in fact, that will guarantee Shy Guy at least two points from this trial. So, yeah. They're not walking away empty handed. Although, Spino does get his first hit of this match. A light recovery to come as well. That still won't be enough to take his health above half, though, so the two points are secured. Another Tai. This Yang Chung is charge type, so Ties do help it. Another hit coming in, but again, it'll probably need a few more to kill the Spino because of the type disadvantage. Whereas all Spino needs is one hit from the tail from the uh, Water Sword and his game over. Ooh. Wow, this is this is a tight contest. Yang Chungosaurus definitely making it interesting. The death fire has been triggered. Can Shy Guy get it off? Well, it's all on this, isn't it? A tie. Well, not end. Will not really end the contest, but a hit from either of these two guys will end this match. Oh, it's a tie. No heat eruption, no, because of the death fire. Ooh, ooh, hang on a minute. Oh, the Yangchungosaurus goes down. <laughs> I, I was just thinking, oh god, this might end in a tie. I didn't actually think about that. Hmm. <laughs> actually didn't think of that. <laughs> right, I'll have to update the points real quick. So yeah, pretty interesting so far. So most of you have actually succeeded in the first trial, but then we have a few that didn't. 
and only two two guys failed to get any points in from this trial so you guys are doing pretty well so far i have to say i'm pretty impressed and yeah <laughs> i will say i will give I will give a draw three points because I, I actually didn't take that into account. So I'll give I'll give you three points if you get a draw. I think that's fair. And well, I, I highly doubt there will be draws for trial two. In fact, I'm pretty convinced that no one's going to complete actually succeed in trial two. Trial two is mainly there for you to get try and get as many points as you can. Hence why I've given I'm so generous with the points if you actually complete trial two. But anyway, we're not talking about Trial 2. We're talking about Trial 1. And yeah, hope you enjoyed. And stay tuned for Part 2, where we will see the next 11 combatants and see how they fare in the first trial. And until then, ta-ta! Mm -hmm.